All right, so today on Free Field Training, we are gonna be looking at a duty belt accessory that I had to go buy because my old one crapped out on me. This is the Model 135 Safari Land baton holder. I just kind of threw darts at a dartboard to come up with this and look through and saw if there was anything that looked like it would meet my requirements. I had a ASP brand baton holder that was a rotating baton holder. And the problem with those is that they would rotate and kind of get behind the gun given the placement of my baton here. It's kind of where I'm stuck with having the baton. And the rotating mechanism on the ass baton holders gets looser and looser as time goes on. It got to the point where I could just hold it and spin it and it would go all the way around. So it was obviously far too loose to use. Uh, I think it's been four or five months since I talked about reviewing the Safari Land 135 holster that I bought to replace it. And today I'm finally gonna get around to it because I have enough time in using this with a pretty hectic summer to give some opinions on it. Some of my opinions are positive, some of them are negative, but I think for most people this is gonna be a pretty decent option for a baton holder as long as you take into account its downsides. I've been using the 135 with my modded knock auto lock baton. It is a push button baton, unlike the popular ass batons, this one has a little button in the back of it. It's not a friction lock like a lot of cheaper batons. You push the button and the baton closes up. Uh, that's important to me for reasons that I've talked about on lots of other videos on the channel, but it creates some problems when I'm finding baton holders because the primary use of this baton and why I like it is that I can deploy it easily and collapse it pretty easily without having to bang it off the ground. So with a baton holder, I don't need the ability to put an extended baton away. I haven't had this break on me yet, yet. I always break everything eventually. I haven't had a break on me yet, and so my concern really is how easy it is to get the baton into the holder closed, because I like to be able to take the baton out, use it for whatever I'm using it for, put it away, and have it completely put away so no one grabs it and starts using it as a pry bar, ripping it off the back of my uniform, which is kind of a problem with the side brake batons when using a friction lock asp, something a lot of people don't talk about, especially in the asp classes. Because of policy, I was kind of stuck with the asp roto holster for a while, but now, since that broke, I went to the Safari Land 135. We're gonna bring you in here and take a closer look at this baton holder. So this is the back of the baton holder. As you can see, there's uh, three screws. One at the bottom attaches it to your belt. The issue I had with that is the screw is a little long with a lot of the adjustment screws on Safari Land gear. It's really my one argument with Safari Land stuff is I have to file that down because it's a little long. I had to do the same thing on my holster here. You see at the bottom, it was a little too long. It was digging into my uniform, ripping holes in it, and at $90 for a pair of pants, I really can't afford to be doing that. So I had to file this down. <laughs> the result of this file down job wasn't as nice as the one on my holster, but it got the job done. I filed it down flat. There's one screw that holds the whole assembly together at the top, and the other one that is an adjustment screw. This is a hex head screw, and it allows you to adjust the baton so that if you are carrying a cross straw, which is also a popular position for uh, extendable batons, you can unscrew this, set the cross straw position that you want, and then tighten it down. It does hold it in a place pretty solidly. I haven't had any problems with this bending backward toward my back. Uh, the advantage of it only being a one way is that for most people, this is gonna work out really well for cross draw, and if the baton does start to slide, it's gonna slide away from your gun and not toward it, which means it's not gonna lock up the handle of the pistol and keep you from getting it out if the holster that you're using, the duty holster you're using, has some sort of twist or rock mechanism in it, which was a big problem that I had with the ASP holders. Switching around to the front of the baton holder, you can see a little bit more of the construction. We'll get you guys up really close in here. Here are two adjustment screws that you can see through here that adjust the tension of the baton. And if you look down inside, I'm gonna try to get you a good view in there. There are two rubber washers on each of these adjustment screws, or hard plastic washers on each of these adjustment screws. And then it's an open back design. Now the open back design is so that with an extended baton, if it's necessary, you can fit the baton in and holster a fully extended baton. So if the baton breaks or if you're using a friction lock, you can do that with this holster. You can put the baton away without having too much of an issue. For me though, this is just the one downside that I have to this setup. And that is that from the front, when I'm putting the baton in the holder, the 
rollers do a decent job of pushing it down inside, but there's a lot of friction between the plastic tip of the modded knock baton that I use. Again, this wouldn't be a big issue with the ass, but the plastic tip that's designed to keep you from hurting people too badly when you hit them with the baton from cutting people, it creates a lot of friction with this back end of the baton holder, which makes it a little hard to push in. Is it a deal breaker? Uh, no, not particularly. I don't intend on buying another baton holder. This works significantly better than the leather holsters I've had in the past that have had the same issue, but aren't as open in the top design, so they're really, really difficult to get the baton back in. They're meant to be pull it out, use it, and then hopefully slide the extended baton back in makes it really difficult to get a collapsed baton back into the holder until it starts wearing out and then at that point it's flopping around anyway. It's not as easy as the aft roto holster to get it back in with the baton collapsed down because that's made of hard plastic and it doesn't catch on a lot of things but since this doesn't tilt forward and cause interference problems with my pistol and since the roto holster eventually wore out this seems like a pretty good replacement for me. So that's the long and the short of the Safari Land Model 135. I'm using it currently, I'm pretty happy with it. If it solves the problems that you're having of carrying a baton, you should probably check it out. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the Shift Supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better. Thank you.